Welcome back to the channel guys and welcome back to another video of Human Code YouTube channel and in this video I will show you what I'm working on currently as I'm trying to make my ROI on my mining rigs come to me quicker and I think it's quite a hot topic and might be useful for you as well especially if you're a new miner just trying to build your first couple of mining rigs so I'll show you what to do, what not to do, how to make it more efficient and what I'm doing on my mining rigs that you can see over there. Here you can see some cards I've been working on, uh, some motherboards, other parts, just testing, it's like a testing desk, so I have a PCU I can connect it to here, uh, turn on the graphics card, also put in like a this monitor or like a mini monitor, I have that one as well. And for the rigs, you can see over here, let's say we have 53060 Ti mining rig, it's four in EPCA and one ASUS Dual. And as you can see, it's running on very old motherboard because I just changed it from proper mining motherboard to this probably old HP workstation desktop computer. I will show you what was in here before, but the main point I want to make here is that you can mine as happily on these old motherboards as you would do on a brand new mining motherboards. The difference is basically the cost. This motherboard with the CPU and four gigs of RAM, which is definitely fine for the mining. Uh, CPU doesn't matter at all. The main part is that it would turn on and boot up. Nothing more is needed from the CPU. So for this uh, set of the motherboard, I paid 15 euros. Uh, I bought it second hand, so you have 15 euros for the set. And I also have this 1 to 4 PCIe lane splitter to make it available for 5 cards at the moment since I have 5 cards over here. So one goes directly into the 16x PCIe slot, and then this adapter, and then over there you have one free slot as well. So you could even do 6 cards on this motherboard, which only costs 15 euros with all the components around it. So, and also we have to add this to the price. This was also 15 euros for this PCIe splitter. So you have 30 euros total for the motherboard and you can run the rig on it. This is the motherboard that I used before. This is TB85 Biostar mining motherboard. It has six PCIe slots built in on the motherboard. Four gigs of RAM, I don't remember what processor it is. But this set of the motherboard with the RAM and all the stuff that comes with it, as you can see over here, just ready to plug and play, uh, it costs 140 euros. So that's already 110 euros over the other motherboard that I use over there. This is the identical one. I bought a couple of these, so I will just replace all the mining motherboards with regular motherboards that I have on my mining rigs. Other parts. Uh, I placed everything here so you can see it visually. Uh, people mainly use SSDs on the mining rigs and most of the times they go for 240 gigs, sometimes even 500 gigs SSDs and this is unnecessary since when mining with Linux for mining, uh, which is like HiveOS like I'm doing, you only need 8 gigs of memory so regular flash drive of 8 gigabytes is more than enough and these cost like 5 euros per piece while this one in 240 gigs will go for around 25 euros so you're saving some money on that as well and then you have the risers this is the brand new 009s plus riser with the arm slot and 8 capacitors it's cool to have looks good but does exactly the same job as this old one would do. This is 006C riser, still has the 6 pin, that's basically everything you need. And I paid 2 euros for this one, while this cost brand new 6 euros. So if you have like 6 cards mining rig, you are saving 6 times 4, 28 euros only on risers, while using some old ones which still works and does the same job for you. So I just did some calculations and from what I showed in my exact example for this rig, for 5 cards rig, I used 205 euros in those, uh, let's say, expensive mining motherboard and other parts like risers and SSD. 
so that costs 205 euros just just for the side components not not calculating the cars here so 205 euros for the fancy components and 45 euros for the simple old components that still does the same job so the difference is pretty big 160 euros if you calculate what five cars are doing that saves you like one or two months of your ROI that's a big difference in mining especially with the given situation when prices go up and down and that's totally fine you just stack up the coins and sell them later but that's a different topic but at all times you try to be as efficient as you can uh, not talking about those crazy big miners who can afford buying like 10, 30, 90s every single day because they just make tons of coin every single day. Uh, they probably don't care about these small details, but for you guys who are just starting out, trying to build your first rigs, I think this is pretty common and the key point, basically the key point. You just want to start as cheap as possible and just get your feet wet. And then when you know what you're doing, you know how to calculate stuff, you know how to do it efficiently, you can build up on that. And the sooner you hit your ROI, the sooner you can afford to buy more tech and just build up snowball effect like that. So another thing to save your money on is the mining rig frame, obviously. So this is professional rig frame. I don't know the exact model, but these go for around 200 euros. And you can have something like this, which is handmade. If you make it yourself, you'll probably spend like 20 euros and if you buy it from a local guy or a business who sells them, you'll get it for probably like 40 to 60 euros. So still 60, 200, you can obviously get cheaper professional frames for like 100, but still you get the margin. So that's like another 50 euros to ROI your rig quicker. And except from the looks, they do the same job. And as for my farm, I'm just, I have quite a few uh, mining rigs, but I'm doing the same for all of them. Let's see, you see one here, one here. This one still has the mining motherboard. Well, it's not exactly mining motherboard, but it's just expensive motherboard. So I will replace that one as well when I get the time. Then over here, uh, we have four EVGA 3070 Ti rig also has the exact same motherboard that I just showed you also running on PCI splitter and it also had expensive motherboard beforehand so I'm just taking those out and just selling them and making my money back quicker over here again 2370 Ti's 13080 13060 Ti and also old motherboard I'm just having these brand new risers because I've stacked up quite a few of them that's another trick if you want to be efficient. Don't buy those parts locally from the resellers. Just order in bulk for the future. Order more than you need so you would always have them by the hand. I'm talking about the cheaper components like risers, like PCIe splitters for the cables and all those tiny small details because if you have quite a few rigs, even on one rig, as you just saw, we just say 140 euros on one rig. Let's say you have 10 rigs, that's already 1,400 euros. You know what I mean. So by saving up on these random components that doesn't affect your mining, you can save up for a brand new rig and just put it to work and make more coins out of the same investment. That's pretty much everything I wanted to tell you in this video. I'll be uploading more shortly, just have quite a busy time this time around, but I'll try to upload more soon, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching this one and see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.